We haven't started in a seated position in a while, so we can begin here sitting cross-legged and maybe elevating your sit bones if that helps you sit here a little more easefully. And you might also want to pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. And then just bring your hands to rest on your legs. And I invite you to close your eyes if that feels okay to you. Feeling the activity of the body inside the stillness. You might relax the belly a little bit more. You're letting the breath fill into the belly. expanding the breath so that after it fills the belly, it opens up into the ribs. And then filling the lungs, the lungs completely, breathing into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. And releasing all the air on the exhale. Just staying with your breath, feeling the body expanding with each in-breath and relaxing with each out-breath. Now, without changing anything in your breathing, we'll roll the shoulders, bringing them forward and up on the inhale and back and down on the exhale. And you might notice how right away your focus shifts away from your breath and maybe you're not breathing as fully anymore. And see if you can keep your primary focus on your breath and then just add that secondary layer of the movement on top of it. And then reverse directions. Back and up. Forward and back. And then just let the shoulders relax. Maintaining that nice deep breath. And on your next exhale, drop the chin to the chest. And 
and then roll it over to their left shoulder. And then over to the right. Back and forth. And then the next time you come to the shoulder, keep going, circling the head around. Maintaining that same deep three-part breath. Keeping that primary in your awareness. And you might see that when you focus on your breath and then just add the movement, there's a natural organic correlation between the movement and the breath. Maybe, maybe not. Just notice. And then on your next breath, circle the other way. And then return to neutral. Setting your attention on your breath. Bring your hands to the ground in front of you. And then just reach across and cross the other way, just kind of gliding your fingertips across the floor, just let your head relax down, and then we'll keep the circle going, so the next time you go to the side, you'll lift your arms up and come down and continue in that direction. One more on this side. And then come all the way over to that same side and then reverse other way. Arms. And stay with your breath. And see if the inhale more naturally comes when the body lifts and reaches up or when it releases down. Letting your body decide what feels right. And last one. And then when the arms come down, bring them center and fold. So normally we do three part breath, belly lift, chest. And yet you may notice, depending on how forward you can bend, that the belly and the ribs and the chest might be a little difficult to breathe into. But if you maintain the intention to breathe deeply from the bottom of your lungs to the top, your body will find a place to allow that expansion. And you can just notice where the body breathes.
See if you can relax your arms more. Maybe bend the elbows. Relax the hands. Use your exhale to really let go. And then slowly walk yourself up, reach up, inhale, exhale the arms down. And just rest. Notice which leg is in front and then release the legs. Shake them out. You might like to rub the knees if that would feel good. And then cross the legs the opposite way. We'll bring the hands around the shins or maybe just the front shin, depending on your cross. And then as you inhale, pull the hands toward you, send the shoulders back, the chest and eyes up. As you exhale, lean back away from your hands, rounding your back, pulling in your belly, tucking your chin. And just continue like that. And again, notice how easy it is to lose track of the breath when there's something else going on. Even when it's something so simple that it doesn't really require very much attention. And see if you can continue to come back to making the breath your primary focus of attention. And then on your next inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale the hands to the ground behind you. And then pressing into the fingers and moving them away from the body. Roll the shoulder blades in, the shoulders back and the chest out. And then either stay here pushing down, lifting your chest and eyes up. Or if you can and you want, you can lift your hips and roll onto your knees and send your head back and your tailbone under. And then release down if you're in the lifted version and inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Rest the hands, drop the elbows, drop the head. Exhale all the air out, drawing the belly toward the spine. And feel the slow unfolding of breath wherever the body manifests in.
When you lift, inhale, roll yourself up, reach up. Exhale, the arms down. Press forward. And again, release the legs and shake them out. And take the legs wide apart, bringing the hands behind you, press into the hands, try to lift your buttocks off the floor and bring it a little more forward. Flex the feet nice and actively. Inhale the arms up, exhale down to the left. Bringing the arm in front of the leg, bringing the other arm overhead, and then pressing into the back of the left arm against that thigh to roll your ribs under and up to the right. Really press down through the legs and reach out through the heels and extend long through the right arm. Inhale, lifting arms and body. Exhale, down to the right, bringing the arm in front of the leg, press it against it, roll the ribs up and left, reach the left arm out. Connect with that nice, deep, slow breath. Let yourself release into the exhale. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, the hands behind you again. Lift the chest. And then see if you're able to hinge forward at the hips without caving in through the heart. And then if it feels like you can hinge forward even more, Bring the arms in front of you and exhale and release. And inhale deep and exhale, relax. And it may seem like an oxymoron to say to relax in this posture. It's often quite intense, but that doesn't mean that you can't relax. The relaxing is completely a choice. You can resist the intensity of the sensation or you can continue to focus on your breath and just let the sensation be in the background and let each exhale relax you. And then bring yourself up slowly. With an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale the arms down to the outsides of the thighs. 
and then lift your legs, bring them around to the front. Beautiful. And then we'll cross the ankles and roll over onto hands and knees. And here we really want to line up our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips so that we feel very stable on all four legs of the table, really letting the arm bones sink down, the leg bones sink down. Take your gaze down at the ground. And then lift the left leg back and the right arm forward. Pull your belly up to support your back. Now we're going to lower that left leg and bring it across over to the right side. Good. Now first we're going to reach the right arm to the left. Press back through the left heel. Keep your gaze down. Now bring the right arm back and all the way over to the right and lift it up for a twist. You might squeeze your inner thighs together. Maybe go all the way up to the chest. If you breathe deeply enough, you might find that your body can move a little bit more into the twist on the exhale. And then release the arm down. Bring the left knee back under the left hip. And then send the right leg back and the left arm forward, keeping your gaze down so your neck is straight. Lift the belly, reach out of those limbs. And then lower the right leg down over to the left, behind you, crossing. And then reach your left arm to the right. Pressing back through the right heel. And then send that left arm back to the left and lift it up. Maybe squeeze the inner thighs together. Focus on the full expression of breath. Release down, bring the knee back. And then walk the hands forward, keeping the hips over the knees. Bring your chest, keep your arms straight. Rest either on your forehead, your chin, or your cheek. Maintain that full attention on the breath. If 
if you're on one cheek, please switch to the other one. And then bring the hands back. Press yourself up, round your spine, coming into a cat pose. Tailbone under, belly up, head down. And then lower your body down onto the ground. Extend the arm forward. If you have shoulder issues, you can bring them out to the side or even back behind you. And then Press down into your hips and pelvis. Inhale, lift your head, your right arm and your left leg. Exhale down. Inhale, other side. Continue going back and forth like that, stretching out, and really using the fullness of your breath to kind of inflate the body, automating the pose. And then relax down, feeling the breath. Reach the right hand back and grab the right foot. And pull the heel toward the buttock. Press the hips toward the floor. Maintaining that contact with breath. Now on your next breath, really press into the hips and kick the foot back, lift the head up, and then optional, you can lift that other leg, you can lift the other arm. Inhale and elevate your chest. Exhale, sink your hips. And relax down. Feel your body breathing with the air. And then reach the left arm back, taking hold of your left foot and pulling the heel in while you're pressing your hips down. While you're breathing deep and slow. And then on your next breath, really ground into the pelvis. Kick up and back through your left foot as you lift your head. 
you might like to keep your hand on the ground and push into it to get your chest higher. Or you might lift the arm. You might lift the leg. You can do either, both, neither. You decide. Keep that tension with the left foot and the left hand. Keep your gaze up and your breath strong. And relax down. Maybe stack your hands and rest your forehead. Let your heels relax out or in, whichever feels more restful to your body. And then bend the knees, take them a little bit wider so that the bottoms of the feet touch behind you. With the feet, with the knees as wide as they'll go here. And then start to press the pubic bone into the ground while also moving the inner ankles toward the ground. And separate the feet, bringing the knees back to hip width apart. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Keep the elbows by your side. Push into your hands. And lift your torso up. Beautiful. Now, we're going to bring the left knee behind the right knee. So sorry, send, send your hips back so that you're kind of in a momentary table and then send your left knee behind your right knee. And then walk your hands back and come and sit down. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, bring the hand to the upper back. Bring the left hand to the elbow and press down, almost like you're taking that whole upper arm bone and lowering it down into your back more deeply. And then reach your left hand back behind you. If you have a towel, you might hold on to the towel with your right hand and then walk your left hand up the towel or just walk your hand up your back. If the two hands can greet each other, Go ahead and clasp the fingers, not just stay where you are. Cow face pose. You're a very sad cow that only has one ear. Beautiful. And then we'll release that left arm Bring it across the chest, flex at the wrist, and hug the arm toward you. Turn your head to the left. Release the hands, bring them down to the ground beside you on the left. Keep your feet where they are, but lift your legs. Walk your hands all the way around and keep turning, pivoting on your feet until you come back down. Same position, other side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, elbow bends. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, press down. And then just keep breathing. 
with awareness, with fullness, with ease. And then bring your right arm behind your back. Again, if you're using the towel, you start with the towel in your left hand and just let it hang down and walk the right hand up or just kind of inch the hand up your back. Maybe if the eyes have opened, you can close them again to better connect with the inner posture. And then release the arms and hug that right arm across the chest, flexing the hand at the wrist turning your head to the right. Beautiful. Release the hands. Bring them to the ground and use them to flip yourself back onto your hands and knees and undo the cross of your legs. Bring your hands one hand's length forward. Spread your fingers wide, curl your toes under. Take a deep breath in. And then when you exhale, lift your knees, but keep them bent. Push forward into your hands, drop your head, and see if you can feel the inhale lengthening from your fingertips to your sit bones. When you exhale, sink your chest down like we did earlier in puppy pose, dropping the upper back, dropping the head. Take weight into your fingertips, not as much in your heels of your hands, but in your fingers themselves. See how that makes a difference, if it does. And then straighten the left leg, press the left heel down. And then lift the right leg up, bend the knee, flex the foot, and let the belly roll right as the foot presses back behind you, looking under your right arm. Really open the front of that right hip, pressing back. And then bring the leg down, straightening that right leg, bend the left knee, and press the hips back, the heel down. Breathing belly, ribs, chest. Beautiful. Lift the left leg, bending the knee. Roll your belly to the left. Press the flexed foot back behind you. Look under your left arm. Really press that left thigh back. Beautiful. Lower the leg, both legs straight, both hands pressing. Inhaling long from hands to hips. Exhaling long from hips to heels. And then walk the feet up to the hands. Keep that ease in your chin, your chest. Roll yourself up. Sending the arms forward, up, 
back and down. Again, forward, up, back, and down. Really good. And then one more. And just the breath. And then step your right leg back, not all the way back, just maybe one and a half or so. Rotate your hips so they face front. Clasp your hands behind your back and notice which thumb is on the outside. Roll your shoulders back and in and lift your arms. Feel the breath expanding into the chest. If you want to challenge your balance a little bit, close your eyes. And then on your next exhale, fold forward. Lower belly can scoop in and up on the exhale. Keep bringing the left hip back and the right hip forward. And then on your next inhale, lift up. Remember which thumb is on the outside. Inhale, rounds up. Exhale, step forward and release the arms down. Relax. Step the left leg back. Or two thirds of the way, right leg, hips forward. Clasp your hands with the opposite thumb on the outside. Roll the shoulders back. Expand the chest even more with the fullness of your inhale. And relax between the shoulder blades as you exhale. Kind of use your attention to direct the effects of your breath. You can deliberately feel the softening. And then on your next exhale, fold forward, lifting the arms, dropping the head. Pull the right hip back, the left hip forward. And then lift up, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, step forward, and release the arms down. Turn the palms to face front. Close the eyes. And then your full awareness. Let weight sink into your left leg. Softly open your eyes. Stay connected to your breath. 
lift the right knee up and hug it into the chest. Pull your chest up and your shoulders back and down. Hollow out your belly on your exhale and breathe the love in, even more here. And now release. Let that fall as we all feel the weight. Notice the point at which the weight that's more heavily in the left foot starts to balance out between the feet. And then you can be able to bring what has become heavier in the right foot. And then wisely, your gaze rests on the spot. Your mind stays connected to your breath as you lift the left knee and draw it up and in. Shoulders back, chest lifts, tailbone down. Eyes don't move. Try to keep the mind still by focusing on the breath. down, close the eyes a moment, feel the feet, feel the body, feel the breath. And then inhale the arms up, clasp the hands, bring them behind the back of the head. Inhale, reach the elbows back. Exhale, fold forward. And then you can point the elbows to the wall behind you instead of out to the side. And when you exhale, you can draw your lower belly in and your elbows back. And bend the knees, lower all the way down onto your buttocks and up into your back. And then cross the right leg over the left. Lift your hips and move them over to the right. And then drop the knees over to the left, arms out to the side. Turn your head to the right. And then when you inhale, squeeze the legs together. Exhale, relax and sink down into that left hip bone. And then inhale, squeeze the legs. And exhale, relax. Be more like that at your own pace. And then bring everything back to center. Uncross the legs. Cross the left leg over the right. Bring the hips over to the left and the knees over to the right. Arms out to the side. Turn your head to the left. Inhale deep. Squeeze the legs. Exhale, sink into the ground and relax. And then 
just continue like that, breathing deeply, exhaling to fully. And then come back to center, uncross the legs, hug the knees to the chest, and then lift your head, bring your hands to your feet if you can, pulling the toes back toward your knees and then while you're holding on to your feet push your feet away from you and breathe deeply into that really rounded back and then Lower your head down, feet down, let your tailbone tuck under, release your legs, shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes. And then we'll all bring our arms out away from the body with the palms up, the legs out away from each other. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, sinking the body into the ground. And draw deep. Exhale out of the mouth, sink, releasing the jaw, letting the lips gently part. And then again. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind, letting your whole attention to the feeling of your breath, but letting go of the breath, so no more effort to breathe deeply, no effort to breathe at all, just trusting the breath to breathe for you however it may be, and just feeling it in the body. The softness, the smallness, the largeness, whatever it is, smooth or jagged, it's fine. Just feel the breath and let the body away from the breath, no problem, just come back, breathe in more with ease, breathe in more, let it go, let it go,
fingertips and toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees into the chest, rocking side to side, massaging the back. And come center, left foot hand to hand and foot to foot. Roll onto your side, resting your head on your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, resting your awareness once again. And slowly begin to come up to sitting, letting your head come up last. Sit any way that you're comfortable, sinking down through the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands together at the crown of the head. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. The chin to the chest. Namaste. Namaste.